And this is what Islam says. So it's teaching you purity, chastity, cleanliness, morality. And this is why we say, when you cover your body, my sisters, do you know what happens? You are appreciated and valued in the true sense. You don't have to be enslaved by the male eye. So you walk and you're just the sex tool and you're just this point of attraction. Everyone looks at you, wow. And when you become a mother, they don't look at you anymore. But subhanallah, if you were dressed appropriately, then men would get along with their business and so would you. And you know what? Mac and everyone else would go bust. Allahu Akbar. May Allah grant us the nur. May Allah grant us the light that he gives on our skins. And I tell people, you know what? Allah gives you nur. Allah gives you a light that shines on your skin. Why do you mac it up? It's a fact. You're blocking it. You're closing it. You're burning your skin such that when you wash it off, you look at yourself without makeup and you say, oh, I can't even see my husband anymore. <laughs> Allah protect us. You have a beauty that needs to be appreciated internally and externally. Allah gives you a light that shines from your face on your skin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beautify our sisters. So imagine if, if the, all women, just say a scenario, Sharia implemented, for example, and all women were dressed in a specific way, modestly. What would a man have to compare? When he gets married, whoa, that's his queen. Because when he looks left, someone is covered. He looks right, someone is covered. So he's so happy with what he has because he doesn't compare. But the reality is you married. You married your wife for her legs. Wow. And guess what happened? You went to the mall and saw better legs. So you come home and you're upset and you're busy on your phone. Who are you tweeting? Trying to find out who was that? Why I need those legs. <laughs> you'd rather go and have chicken legs from the closest halal restaurant. That's better for you. Allahu Akbar. My brothers and sisters, do you see the logic? So if you are covered, you are appreciated by who's supposed to appreciate you. Not the rest of the world. Marriages are breaking because of this. If a person has married you because you displayed a figure in public. Remember my sister, there are a thousand others who will have a better figure. Even if yours was Miss World at one stage, there is something known as Miss Universe. <laughs> you need to know that. So it doesn't stop. Allah says, don't follow the rat race and become a mouse or one of the mice. No, what you need to do is cover yourself decently, modestly, so that the male can appreciate you. And he, he really won't have much to compare you with. And you are the queen because when he looks, as I said, left or right, he sees covered up women. And that's what it is. This is the beauty of the Sharia. But people don't understand. No, it is barbaric. You know, you are actually uh, blocking this woman. To be, believe me, if you take a careful look at it, it is liberation. It liberates you. It makes you independent of the male. It makes you independent. You are yourself and you are judged based on what your heart is all about. The sacrifice you've made at home, the love that you show and you have a family that is so happy. We have lost values today. Look at the world. It's screaming and crying sometimes because we as Muslims have stopped dressing the way we're supposed to. Then we worried. But you know what? He's a womanizer. My sister, where did you meet him? What happened? How did you meet? It's interesting. Be honest and you'll find out but you know what? Well, he liked the way head and shoulders looked on my hair. <laughs> now that you, were preg you, know, you had delivered after pregnancy and so on, and you, know, you might have lost a little bit of hair, and things happen and you might be still working on it. Well, head and shoulders works on somebody else's hair. Allahu Akbar. Is that what a woman is all about? Just to look at and to say, I want that one and this one? No. A woman is to be respected. This is what Islam says. So if the world is portraying it differently and says that, you know what? This is barbaric and wallahi, we look at it differently. And we say, my sisters, I'm sure those who are in hijab today, I don't think anyone's forcing you to do that. And this is something the West has misunderstood. People think we're forcing. No force. 